Okay, let's get rapid with Iraq and jump right to it. If you like more news, less BS, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. We're talking about Iraqi dinar today, at least. Let's see if we can find any of that news. I want to start off with new electronic banking service launched in Iraq, CBI. Central Bank of Iraq has announced it launched its digital enrollment services, which says it is the first of its kind in Iraq and the region. According to the statement of the CBI, the digital enrollment is an integrated digital financial system that enhances financial independence and liberation from traditional financial systems as it works to transform Iraq into a country less dependent on cash which enables the state to fight corruption invasion and bureaucracy in financial dealings within banks operating in iraq the service is considered a modern and different trend due to its many advantages including conducting financial operations in modern digital electronic form which reduces time and geographical distances and raises the traditional barrier in iraqi banking sector guys give me thumbs up for this at least this is modernizing iraq on a level that should domino effect into other banking systems it's it's a great article thumbs up to that hey so let's get an update on this cbi new headquarters that's being constructed here are some photos taken january 25th from an aerial photograph there's the new cbi building this is where they're currently at in the stages of looks like they're still there may be a quarter of the way big project give a shout out to baghdad projects i think this is an interesting article president of kurdistan investment commission 12 billion investments in the region so what this article says is <clears throat> they've opened up permits granted to reach up to 12 billion dollars to invest a certified investor you can come in and invest in the kurdistan region from 700 million dollars up to 2 billion um they're giving these permits out to come to kurdistan or invest in kurdistan region and look at it i mean it's just beautiful if that's an actual legitimate kurdistan photo it's a thriving region and the more i looked into different projects around baghdad and in iraq really quite shocking <laughs> that we're at a rate of 1460 now i i know why i know all the logistics behind that i read a comment in my section the other day this guy said just let the iraqi dinar be put on the forex and let the market dictate where it floats to and i couldn't agree anymore let it go international as far as the budget crisis with kurdistan and about baghdad it will be done when it gets done it's the same old bs i'm not going to read it hey i wanted to go to some of your guys's comments i think they're really good i had this gentleman named duke comment on my last vietnam video and he just says there will not be a gcr the dinar will not rv at four dollars it will not happen the cbi will set the dinar at a fixed rate and from that point moving forward the dinar will fluctuate based on the economy and debt that's his opinion 80 percent chance of no dinar rv or gcr in order to have a gcr all the world's central banks must come together and agree on a package of currency resets i mean think about how daunting task that would be the bank of international settlements has nothing to do with manipulating every country's currency please do not fall for this how long has the gcr been in the works it's as phony as the military getting ready to arrest the dc politicians people going around on youtube saying all that stuff and gcr has been in the works for a while i would say the dinar has a pretty good chance i don't think it's a wild card for vietnam to also go in that basket of currencies we'll wait and see I'm not against it i just think uh can't have it all and then there's hassan and i'm not picking on you hassan thank you for commenting and watching my videos he says every project in iraq is corruption project with the shares of the lion for those in power the government is corrupt sick with multiple canners in the body i think he meant cancers all needs to be removed and chopped off otherwise no solution to victims the poor people as they have no say in anything i agree with you hassan my friend you are wasting your time speaking about iraq we get rid of saddam now we have hundreds of saddamis saddam was the honest person as he was saying what he wanted to do but now the new saddams are thieves and working for their pockets no projects will go ahead in iraq all false projects as corruption is the foundation of the new iraq Iraqi politics and politicians and thus is fueled by foreign powers listen Hassan I agree with you I know you're probably new to my channel 
I have have a dozen videos, if not more, talking about how corrupt Iraq is. I am well aware, my friend. You must be pretty new to this channel, and that's okay. I just don't want to talk about Iraq being corrupt every single time. Everybody here on this channel knows it. Thank you for commenting. Please wrap it up, date your followers followers with corruption at the Iraqi government level rather than the Iraqi dinar. Do you know that the Iraq is the Iraqi ministerial posts sold for money? It is funny that you are telling your followers stories about Iraq and the government. You may have conflict of interest and someone infected you to tell you th good things about Iraq. Listen, man, my friend, I again, I, I'm aware and my followers are aware. Yes, I know that uh, Halabosi bought his seat in, in the House of Representatives, okay, to be speaker. I have videos on that as well. And again, if I all I did was talk negative about Iraq, nobody would, I wouldn't be popular. I'm not popular now because I keep it raw and I'm not gonna tell people what they want to hear and get all these these comments how great you are thank you so much like i see other youtubers trying to decode what's really happening and then tell their people it's going to happen this weekend or next weekend just wait and see no this is real this channel is real and i am raw and i'll either have negative things to say about iraq or believe me i look for positive things if i can so hassan i'm not trying to tell my followers all good things about iraq i keep it real on this channel i keep it rapid thanks for being on this video everybody